Hey, boys and girls, good to see you. Thanks for joining us for our art lesson for today. So when I was thinking about what we could draw today together, um, I looked around here at school and we are doing all kinds of construction here at school, uh, making new buildings um, and digging up all kinds of things and putting in new computers and uh, building a new gym and all this kind of cool stuff that's happening here at school. So not all of you are here to see that. So I thought it might be fun to draw a construction worker and to draw a front end loader for all the construction and building that's going on here at school. So in this video, we're going to follow along with Art for Kids Hub. They're going to teach us how to draw a front end loader construction truck. And I am going to draw along with you and you can draw along with me. All right. Are you ready? Let's go. Construction truck. Good job, dude. Are you ready to draw? Yeah. You got your marker? Mm -hmm. we, we hope you have a marker and some paper and you're going to follow along with us. We so we are going to draw with pencil. I'm going to draw with marker so you can see, but I want you to draw with pencil first and draw lightly. That way, if you need to erase, uh, you can erase and it's easier to fix your mistakes. Okay, let's go. Never go too fast. What can our friends do? Plus the video. <laughs> First, we're going to draw the ground for our truck to sit on. So we're going to draw a horizontal line that starts on the left side, comes all the way over to the right. Okay. I'll give you a point. We're going to start there, come all the way over to there. Yes. And okay, now one thing I want to say is as we're drawing this too, we might want to draw it just a little bit smaller than what they're drawing in the video because we are going to add a construction worker to this after we complete the front end loader. Good. Now we're going to draw the wheel. So you're going to draw the same thing uh, that you are seeing on the screen, but you do want to draw it just a little bit smaller than what they do and maybe a little bit more off to the side so we have room to put a construction worker. I'll show you. And the back wheel is bigger than the front wheel. So we're going to draw over here. We're going to draw a big wheel and we want to make sure it's touching the ground. And then we're going to draw a smaller wheel over here. Oh, I drew them kind of the same size. That's okay. <laughs> Good job. Touch the ground. Nice. I like your wheel. And then we're going to draw another one right. Okay, good. So what you can see already, let me bring up my spotlight here so you can see. So what you can see already, you see my red dot on my screen. So we're going to put it, I put mine more over to the side. Okay, they kind of put theirs a little bit closer to the middle, but try to draw over to the side. So this is your example, but when you're drawing, try to follow what I'm drawing over here. Okay, let's go. Right about here. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to draw two more circles inside of these two circles. So here we go. We're going to draw another one over here. And then we're going to draw a smaller one inside, like that. Good job. And then another one inside. Little one. Now we're going to Bunch do of circles that in there. same thing over here. Okay, repeat on the big circle as well. Okay, now we're ready to draw the rest of the truck. Okay, we're going to draw a line that connects first. So we're going to draw right here in the middle. We're going to go across like that. Good. Now we're going to draw another one that comes right up the middle. And then we're going to come over to the wheel. And then if it's above the wheel, we can connect it down. Good. Now let's draw the part where the- Okay, let's pause it there so you can catch up just a little bit if you need to. These videos are great. They show you step by step, which makes your drawings, um, they can turn out really, really great, but it makes it a bit easier for you. The person sits to drive. We're going to draw a line that comes out first. Then we're going to draw a straight line up and we're going to draw, we could draw it really tall. There you go. And we're going to draw another line over and down. See how it's right about in the middle. See this the middle part here? here? Look like rectangles, don't they? Mm -hmm. All right, now let's draw a line coming out of the back wheel. Short line. Then we can draw an L. Watch, down and over. It looks like the letter L. So we're going to draw a rectangle. This is for the back bumper. Okay, I'll pause a little bit. Maybe you need a chance to catch up just a little bit. 
Okay, let's keep going. Good. Now let's draw an upside down L to connect a bunch of boxes. Don't we? We have a lot of boxes. Okay, now let's draw the back of our truck. We're going to draw a line down over and then down into the bumper. Oh, it's looking so cool. Okay. Good. All right, now let's draw the front of our truck. I'll We're pause there. Maybe you need to catch up just a little bit. So you can kind of see on here, let me get my spotlight so you can see. You can kind of see on here, his wheels are kind of wobbly and I'll show you why that is. I'll give you an example over here on the image mate. So when you draw circles, like if you honestly, if you kind of take your time too much trying to make it perfect, you can get kind of a wobbly, bumpy, not a very good circle. But a good way to draw circles is just to do them kind of quickly. Okay, and you have to let your wrist feel free and loose. Let me show you here. So your wrist should feel free and loose. And when you're drawing circles as well, you can hold your pen or your pencil very lightly. Okay. Just to kind of get an idea. So if you need to, so your wrist should feel nice and loose and you hold your pencil or whatever you're drawing with lightly. So if you need to go back and fix those wheels, you can. You can erase them and uh, fix them, which is why I told you uh, to draw lightly with your pencil, uh, because that way you can always go back and erase. Okay, so let's bring our drawing back up over here and let's keep going. We're gonna draw a line that comes over and connects to the wheel. Yes, and then we're gonna draw another line straight down. Okay, now we're going to draw that bucket or the thing like that picks up all the dirt. Box up world here, here. We're going to draw a big U shape. Okay, oh, let's pause here. That is. He's going pretty fast. I'll pause there. So, kind of up here, we need a U shape. Now, remember, what we were trying to do this whole time is we were trying to draw this bucket loader a little bit more over towards the side so that we have room over here to do a construction worker. Okay, so let's keep going. We're going to draw it right about here. Draw big sideways U. Yeah, good job. All right, now up. And then you can see um, this U and my U is kind of tilted a little bit going towards maybe this upper corner of the paper. Whereas this U here that this guy drew um, is kind of going straight up and down. It's not going to look quite right. So let's try to angle the U make the U kind of point towards this upper corner of the paper here. Here, we're gonna draw a line that comes across and connects the top. Then it's okay. got little teeth on the front. So let's draw an upside down V or an A shape. And that's the part that digs into the ground and gets the dirt. Now let's draw the arm that's connecting it to the truck. So we draw one little line down. Then we're gonna draw another line that comes across. And we can draw a little line that comes down. Oh, you're getting really close. You can actually just connect it into the wheel if you want. And then I'm going to connect it into the wheel. Also, I'm going to draw another line that comes that way. All right, now let's draw the other side of the arm. So we're going to draw. OK, and let me rewind that just a little bit. I really like what he said here about. So you know what? Um, there's no mistakes in art. There's only happy accidents. That was taught to me by a painter named Bob Ross. He says there's no mistakes in art. There's only happy accidents. So you can see here uh, the way that I was taught to draw it by uh, the artist. I did a line down and then I did a line over like that. You'll notice that when this little guy was drawing over here, he came in, he didn't have enough room to draw a line and over. So he just drew straight down and that's okay as well. Okay. And that's why I would say draw lightly with your pencil because you can go back and erase if you need to. Okay. Let's keep going. Draw the other side of the arm. So we're going to draw a line that follows this line. I'm going to follow it across. So we'll start right here and we'll follow it down to there. There's another good technique. Let's look back there just a little bit. So if you look over here, uh, boys and girls, you'll see he made a dot for the beginning and the end of the line, and then he just connected them. So let me show you an example here. So sometimes if you're, if you're trying to make a line, 
go in a certain way, you can make the dots. Let me make them a little bit bigger so you can see. And then you just connect them. That's a good idea. I like that one. Hopefully that will help you. Okay, that's another way to get your lines going where you want them to go. Okay, let's go back here. Yeah, and then we're going to draw another line down and I'm just going to connect it right into the truck. Okay, so let's try that technique then here. I'll put a dot here and I'll put a dot here and then I will just connect them so I know where I'm going. That works. Okay, now we're pretty much done with our truck, except we need to draw a few more details, a lot more details. A window. Yeah, we need to draw windows, a roof, and also the exhaust sticking out. You ready? Yeah. Okay, let's draw the windows first. Let's draw right here. We're gonna draw a big, tall L. Okay. And we're gonna connect. Yes, we are. We're gonna draw an upside down L to connect. There's the window. Now let's draw the roof. I'm going to draw. Okay, this guy's a little crazy about his L's. Um, you could just draw a square there or a rectangle, okay? You could do the L's or you could do a square rectangle because it comes out exactly the same. If it's easier for you to do a rectangle, then go ahead and do a rectangle. Uh, another L. Look how long this one is. It goes all the way across the top. It's short, but then the bottom part's long. And then I'm going to draw an upside down L to connect the top. Cool. Now let's draw the exact. So really, boys and girls, what we have been seeing here is this whole drawing is built on the element of our shape. OK, so basically all we're doing is just using the element of our shape to combine the different shapes together to create um, a drawing. It also uses the element of our line because everything that we're doing here is about combining different types of lines which can be made into shapes. Okay, so the elements of art, if you have been doing the website lessons, then you would know what the elements of art that we have been learning about. So there they are, element of art line, element of art shape. Elements make up all artwork and all music. So let's continue. Zah, sticking out the back. We're gonna draw two lines. Coming out. There's element of art line. Then let's curve, let's add two more curved lines at the top to curve the exhaust. Yeah, almost looks like a candy cane. Mm -hmm. And then we'll connect the very top two lines. There's our exhaust. That's where the smoke comes up. And if we want, we could add little popcorn shapes. I think I'm going to put two exhausts on mine. I want to make mine look cool. So, and you know what? You can make your exhaust any shape that you want, but I am going to add the puffs of smoke like he's doing there. But really, puffs of smoke are just curved lines. Okay. Element of art line. There it is. Okay. Here we go. Coming out the exhaust for the smoke. And I drew a small one and a big one. Good job. That you can make your exhaust and your smoke any way that you like. Small, big, that's up to you. Be creative, use your imagination. That's awesome. Now over here, I'm gonna add some dirt in the bucket. So I'm gonna add a bumpy line like this. There it is, element of our line, just curly lines. And then inside we could also draw a couple of circles for the rocks. Almost looks like cupcake to me. Or it now looks like rice in a bowl. Hydraulics to make the bucket go up and down. So I'm going to draw two lines connecting right here at the very end. Yeah, and you can connect them down to the tire. And then right here, I'm going to draw another line that goes across right in the middle. Perfect. Now, these things are usually really big. And so they have a ladder so that you can get in it. So let's draw two lines down the side right by the window. Yeah, right there. And then let's draw horizontal lines going across to the ladder. Okay, so you'll hear a lot of the word line, and that just uh, refers to the element of our line. We're using line um, in all different kinds of ways to create our artwork. 
You did it. That's a really cool ladder, dude. All right. Now, right back here, we can also add, I'm going to draw two lines going across for a stripe. Then let's also okay. add some vents for the side where the motor or the engine is. So I'm gonna draw, watch this, kind of looks like the ladder, except it doesn't have the lines going down the side. You can add four lines right on the back. Cold air can come in that way to keep the engine cool. There you go, that looks pretty cool. All right, Perfect. so All right, dude. there we are using the element of art line again. Okay, so this is my, um, this is my front end loader construction truck. And we are gonna go on and we are actually going to add a construction worker on here as well. So that's why we tried to draw over this way as much as we can. So let's bring up the construction worker. Monster Math presents counting to 10. Okay, class, let's count the- Hadley, what are we gonna draw okay, in this here we go. Construction worker. Yeah, construction worker. We hope you're gonna follow along. You needed something to draw with, a marker, a paper, and- all right, let's get started. Let's first draw the eye. Okay. So, yeah, it's a construction oh, truck. Front end loader, job, no. You ready We're back to draw? To construction worker. Kelly, what are you going to draw in this lesson? A construction worker. Yeah, a construction worker. We hope you're going to follow along. You needed something to draw with a marker. There you go. Something to call with. All right, okay. let's get started. Let's first draw the eyes to our person. We're going to draw two circles about. Okay, so before we get started with this one, so we're gonna put our construction worker over here somewhere, but your construction worker, when you draw him, think about the relationship of the size of the construction worker to the uh, front end loader dump truck, okay? Because if, you, I mean, you could draw your construction worker really, really huge if you wanted to, um, if you want it to be more like a cartoon, or if you want it to be more like it's just kind of like a fantasy or a dream world. But if you want it to look more realistic, you'll need to draw your construction worker much smaller. So it looks like he is the right size to go in the front end loader truck. Okay, so I'll let you decide, but um, I'm gonna draw mine a little bit smaller. So it looks like he can actually climb in the truck. If you draw your construction worker as tall as the truck, he's not going to be able to climb in the truck and drive the truck around, but I will leave that up to you. So I'm going to make mine smaller so it looks like he fits in the truck. So I'm going to have to zoom mine in so you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, here we go. This size and about that far apart. Yeah. Then we're going to draw smaller circles for the highlight in the top right. And then we're going to color in the big circle, but leave the little ones white. white. Yeah. When we fast forward the video, you guys can pause it. Now, I will say that doing it smaller is going to be hard, but that's up to you. You can do them bigger if you want to, but uh, I'm going to draw mine smaller so it looks like he fits in the loader. Okay. So let me continue to zoom in here so you can see what I'm doing. Take time to finish the step. All right. Now let's draw the mouth. I'm going to draw a little happy smile in between the oh, eyes. I didn't put mine far enough apart, so I'm going to have to put my mouth below, but that's okay. Like we said, no mistakes, only happy accidents, okay? Yeah, then we can draw a bigger mouth and a tongue and color in the top part. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put a tongue. Then we're going to draw the ears. I'm going to draw a little C over here and a backward C over here. Then we can draw the chin. I'm gonna draw a curve that comes around and back up. Got a little bumpy over here. Oh, and super bumpy over there. <laughs> I like it. Now let's take a look here, at all three of these. So this is the artist, here he is. Well, you are all artists as well. This is the artist and his face is really wide and kind of flat. Okay, now this is the little guy drawing along, little girl drawing along. And hers has like kind of like a bumpy chin. That's okay. And she's got eyelashes. Mine is much more round, but that's okay. Um, the examples that are given to you in the video, they don't have to be copied exactly, okay? You should use your imagination to see what you like best. And your artwork should always um, express what you are feeling or what you are thinking, not just copying somebody else. 
that is the wonderful thing about art is that you are always able to express how you feel or how you think and not just copy other people. Okay, here we go. Now let's draw the hurt hat on our construction worker. We're going to draw a curve that goes over the top. Yes. Then we're going to draw another curve that starts here, goes up a little higher, and then comes back down on the other side. Yes. Then we're going to draw the top, the very top of our hat, hard hat. We're going to draw a big rainbow line over the top. Then we can also add, let's add two lines down the middle, and I kind of draw them coming together towards the middle. Yeah. Now we can draw a little line coming up to connect from the ears to the hat. No, mine already connect. So yeah, if your ears, goes over the if your ears already connect, then that's fine. If not, then you can connect them to the hat. Edges. So I'm going to draw little lines that connect on both sides. And yeah. mine already connect, so it's okay. Good. Then we can also draw a zigzag line to the. My guy looks a little funny. <laughs> that's okay. That's all right. Let's keep going. Here. Now you can also draw this on yours, but at the very end, we're gonna add longer hair so that your construction worker is a girl, mine's a boy. So good point there. So when we get towards the end, if you would like to make your construction worker a girl, they'll uh, the artist will show you how to um, add longer hair. And then if you wanna have it be a boy, then you can leave the hair as is. Let's keep going. Oh, I like the hair that you drew. It's really cute. Okay, now let's draw the body. So use your imagination too. The hair does not have to be exactly like how it's drawn here. This is just the example, okay? We're gonna draw two lines, one on each side, coming down from the chin. I'm gonna draw them about that long. Yeah. Now we can draw the belt. I'm gonna draw a line that connects the two. Then I'm gonna draw another line above that one. And we can draw little pockets. I'm going to draw a curve oh, over here and cute. a curve over here on this side. This guy's cute. Cute then little I'm draw two construction more worker lines dude. For the legs in between. Then we can draw a line to connect the bottom of the legs. And I'm going to draw another line right above those two two other lines yeah okay so i want to show you something that i did here and i actually made a mistake i didn't draw my lines long enough so i had to extend them so at first they were too short and then i had to extend them that's okay there is no mistakes only happy accidents and if i was using pencil uh, but i can't because you can't see it very well i could erase it and i could fix it so always draw lightly to start <laughs> okay, now let's add the shoes. I'm going to draw a U shape that comes down and around and back up both legs. Huh. My guy looks funny. Good. He looks like he's we floating. Also draw the bottom of these shoes. Oh, good. And they're bigger. They come down further like this. So we can be tear. Now yeah. he's then let's touching draw his ground. safety vest. We're going to start here. We're going to draw a V that comes down, back up right under his chin. Then we can draw two lines coming down from that V. Then I'm also gonna draw a line right down the middle. Maybe this is for the zipper. All right, Hadley, what's our construction worker missing on the side? The arms. The arms, yeah. We we'll start here, we'll draw a line that comes down, curve in towards the bottom. This is a really simple way to draw cartoon arms and hands. Then we drew it on both sides, but let's draw two lines for the wrist or the end of his sleeves or her sleeves on both sides. I'm Ooh. also gonna add okay. a little M, curved M for the top of his tools. His looks cuter than mine. I don't know what happened to mine. He looks a little funky. That's okay, let's keep going. That are in his pocket. And I'm gonna draw two over here also. And his belt. Okay, I actually think it's good for you to see all these different examples. So this is the artist. And this, I believe, is his daughter, and this hers, and then this one is mine. So they're all based off of the same 
thing that the artist is drawing, but each one is a little bit different and that is okay. I want to encourage you not to just try to copy the artist, but use it as an example and then your own work, make it your own. All right, Natalie. Now, if you want, do you want to add a line that comes down like this for her hair and can do it on both sides? Again, the artist, uh, the, I'm sorry, I keep looking down here. I keep hitting the power cord and I don't want to lose power. So I'm trying to not lose power by not hitting that power cord, which I apologize for. So anyways, um, right. He's using the same technique again here, which I'll show you on a separate paper. Uh, the same technique that we had before. So he's saying, if you want to add hair, so you'll notice the artist is helping out um, his daughter by making dots first of where he might want the line to go and then connecting the dots, okay? That's another way that you can make those lines go where you want them to go, okay? But I think our construction worker is pretty much finished. So I am going to bring up the image mate in full screen here. And then uh, you can see my whole drawing. So I tried to make mine smaller, my construction worker smaller, so he could fit inside of the front end bucket loader. Okay. But now what you're going to do, and I'm not going to show you because I don't want you to copy me. I want you to use your imagination to fill up the rest of this space. Okay. What is going on here? Is this construction at school? Is this construction near your house? Is this construction near a city? Is this construction out in the middle of a forest somewhere where they're going to build new buildings? Um, way out in the middle of nowhere, maybe? I don't know. So you, you're gonna use your imagination. This is your world. What else is happening in this picture? Try to fill up the whole space. Don't leave any space unused. And then you are going to add color. So I'm excited to see what you're going to do. And I'm excited to see what your imagination brings to your artwork.